Jeffrey Epstein, uh, who was the most wanted uh, criminal in America, who uh, tried to commit suicide in prison in July, and then, again, the most wanted <laughs> criminal in America for heinous, disgraceful um, pedophilia, child sex trafficking, all these things. Um, five days after he tried to commit suicide, he was taken off uh, suicide watch in his jail. And then uh, soon after that, he, quote, unsuccessfully, quote, unquote, committed suicide. Um, and it just so happens the cameras weren't working and all the guards were out to lunch or dinner. Very convenient. And, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, obviously common sense would dictate this was not a suicide. Uh, the autopsy was very secretive. Also, experts have said the strangulation marks and, and uh, the marks on his body indicate a struggle, not a suicide. So we found out today, we found out today, and this isn't shocking because Jen and I have been dealing with corporate media and seeing how horrible corporate media is in killing really, really important stories for yep. really, really terrible reasons. So today, I was a little, I'm not going to lie, I was a little twist, I was a little torn because today you have uh, this usually degenerate uh, James O'Keefe. James O'Keefe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who, you know, is a huckster, selectively edits videos. He's a right winger. Um, he did the Acorn videos like a decade ago, which was a lot of selective editing. And generally speaking, he's horrible. And when I see uh, Project Ver Ver Veritas put out clips uh, and James O'Keefe attached, I generally tend not to look because, I mean, it's already shown over and over he selectively edits things and uh, is deceptive. Uh, but a broken clock is right, I believe, twice a day. Um, <laughs> yeah. And what they put out uh, earlier today, as far as I could tell, is an authentic video with a frustrated ABC News anchor, basically irate because the story that she had three years ago is now out by another outlet and ABC News killed it. If you haven't seen it, let's play the video. I've had the story for three years. I've had this interview with Virginia Roberts. We would not put it on the air. Um, first of all, I was told, who's Jeffrey Epstein? No one knows who that is. This is a stupid story. Um, then the palace found out that we had her whole allegations about Prince Andrew and threatened us a million different ways. Um, we were so afraid we wouldn't be able to interview Kate and Will say, oh, that we that also quashed the story. And then, um, and then Alan Dershowitz was also implicated in because of the planes. So she told me everything. She had pictures. She had everything. She was in hiding for 12 years. We convinced her to come out. We convinced her to talk to us. Um, it was unbelievable what we had. Clinton. We had everything. I, I tried for three years to get it on to no avail. And now it's all coming out. And it's like these new re revelations. And I freaking had all of it. I, I, I'm so pissed right now. Like every day I get more and more pissed because I'm just like, oh my God. We, it was, um, what, what we had was unreal. Other women backing it up. Hey, yep. Brad Edwards, the attorney, three years ago saying, like, aunt, like, we, there will come a day when we will realize Jeffrey Epstein was the most prolific pedophile this country has ever known. And I had it all three years ago. ABC News, which, I mean, there's different degrees of terribleness. CNN, MSNBC, obviously, have been working overtime to destroy Bernie Sanders' campaign. Obviously, the Washington Post has been working overtime to destroy uh, Bernie Sanders for years. Uh, ABC, NBC, um, NBC, obviously, it seems, covered up uh, Matt Lauer's sexual abuse or alleged sexual abuse for years and stopped, also stopped reporting from coming out from Ronan Farrow on the Her Harvey Weinstein's heinous sexual assault of women and, and sexual harassment. Uh, they stopped it when, you know, it just so happens the Clinton campaign reached out to Ronan Farrow and said, your reporting would be problematic for us on our friend and big donor, Harvey Weinstein. So it's already established that broadcast news networks kill stories based on access, relationships, this, that. To me, the thing that she said to me that was most compelling there, um, is the video authentic? Well, ABC News issued a statement today. Let's read the statement first. Let's read the statement, definitely. Um, so Amy Roback was the journalist there. I'm sure she got a talking to. I'm sure that her statement here was heavily vetted by their lawyers. 
She, re she says, as a journalist, as the Epstein story continued to unfold last summer, I was caught in a private moment of frustration. I was upset that an important interview I had conducted with Virginia Roberts didn't air because we could not contain sufficient corroborating evidence to meet ABC's editorial standards about her allegations. My comments about Prince Andrew and her allegation that she had seen Bill Clinton on Epstein's private island were in reference to what Virginia Roberts said in that interview in 2015. I was referencing her allegations, not what ABC News had verified through our reporting. The interview itself, while I was disappointed it didn't air, didn't meet our standards. In the years since, no one ever told, told me or the team to stop reporting on Jeffrey Epstein, and we have continued to aggressively pursue the important story. And this is the best part. ABC said, at the time, not all our reporting met our standards to air, but we have never stopped investigating the story ever since we had a team on this investigation and substantial resources dedicated to it. That work has led to a two-hour documentary and a six-part podcast that will air in the new year. Very interesting. So I love how all of these outlets, when they're caught killing these stories, the first thing they see, it doesn't meet our standards or it didn't meet our criteria. Well, can you tell us what the criteria is? Because NBC, NBC, for example, they said, well, Ronan, Ronan Farrow, his story wasn't ready for air on Harvey Weinstein and his uh, chronic sexual abuse uh, assault and harassment of women. Uh, it wasn't ready for air, according to NBC. Well, he crossed the street to the New Yorker, and voila! Two months later, it was published, and he won the Pulitzer Prize, and he deserved to. So, I want to know what is ABC News? Uh, what is their uh, standards? Because how is it that then the Miami Herald, with the same exact interview, and by the way, the Miami Herald does not have the resources of a broadcast network like ABC News. The Miami Herald is a newspaper. And if you know anything about the media in America, newspapers are declining. And what I'll say is, from, as a media professional myself, you know, when you're going through college and you're going through school and you're going through, like, you want to work for the major networks because they supposedly have the biggest amount of resources. They're the ones who can pay you the most. They're the ones who can give you the most for your buck. If you're paying for you're working for the people who are not. And this is what you know in college. You get out and then you start realizing that apparently they don't have resources these guys have been involved in news since the 50s if they don't have resources i don't know who has resources well the broadcast networks definitely have resources it's, bull it's bs i could say i could tell you that because in news media all these corporate reporters they're that ladder that they're climbing they're always trying to go from local to cable to broadcast because that's where the money's at absolutely so abc's st statement is obviously nonsense because they're not providing whatever their standards were what reporting did she have? If Virginia Guffrey, I think her name was, said in an interview to Amy Robach all of these claims and the Miami Herald was able to back up those claims, so why wasn't ABC News able to back up those claims? But to me, the, most, the, cri the critical thing that Amy Robach said in that hidden, um, you know, hidden audio, she didn't know that, I guess she didn't know she was being recorded. That to me says authenticity. Yeah. When you don't know you're being recorded and you say things, that's when you're telling the truth because you're not going to say it on the air. So to me, the most critical thing that he, that she said was Bill Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The, 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 uh, access to, uh, Prince William and what is she queen? No, princess Kate. Prin princess Kate. And, and Prince Andrew. Cause apparently, uh, yeah. yeah, that, that uh, was, he was yes. another one named. It. Yes. Yeah. They, they want access to the Royal family. If you, you know, the royal family is one of the most prestigious mobs in the world, uh, mafia, like that, that level of, you know, when you're dealing with the royal family. But to ABC News and the broadcast networks, what is more important? Keeping in good stead with the royal family, keeping in good stead with, you know, his highness and, and heinous, heinous, uh, or yeah. keeping in good stead with the Democratic Party establishment. And you go, you go to air with, Bill Clinton was on Jeffrey Epstein's plane uh, in some reports between 15 and 20 times. You go to air with Bill Clinton might have been on his private island where underage girls are. You go to air with these kind of allegations against Bill Clinton, who, remember, this is three years ago, so Hillary Clinton was the nominee around that time. Yep. And the Democratic Party establishment was still... Is still basically uh, ABC and these outlets are still an arm of the Democratic Party establishment. So that's like kind of um, 
that's a sacred cow that they're not going to go after. Uh, even if they had the evidence, I'm not sure they would go after the Clintons because you're risking essentially forget your Christmas card, your Christmas uh, party invitation. You're risking interviews. You're risking campaign access, not for later yeah. for the Democratic candidates, for the DNC. It's all one big club and ABC's part of it. And to me, that is why it was probably killed. And and I and I want to say like out of the out of viewers out there right now, who are you going to believe like Epstein didn't do anything or Bill Clinton is on a jet with his history? How much history? How many times have people made jokes about Bill Clinton having relations with all the people he's had relations with? Like it's been it's it's like we're not going to believe that he didn't know what was going on. So there's no way they can deny it and of course they're going to come out and say, "Yes, this is not what we wanted to do it's 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 a classic thing of right now like they had it's it nobody's gonna believe that he didn't do it and hillary clinton three years ago primary candidate that makes all the sense in the world that she got that story was killed she had the truth they didn't want to show it and abc would have lost all their credentials like what do you do with that hope you enjoyed that last video hop on over to statusquo.com where you could sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Oh.